Hey, I'm Jeff Caldwell. And I'm Jack Caldwell. And we're here to tell you about our experience doing float therapy together. In Bellingham, Washington, we went to Still Life Massage and Float and just prior to COVID went about six to eight weeks in a row and really had a good time uh, bonding as a father and son. And Jack has a special brain, some ADHD, <laughs> a little bit of autism and a lot of coolness. And um, what else, Jack? Um, uh... Too many words to think about? <laughs> So watch the following video and follow along and at the end we're going to have some tips for you so stay tuned. I'm Jeff Caldwell with my son. What's your name? Jack. Jack what? Caldwell. Jack Caldwell, okay. So we're at Still Life Massage and Float with Tim and Shannon Fuller, who have been operating this from a thought six years ago, fast forwarding to success and expanding now, right? Yeah, we're hoping. hoping. Yeah, we are running two tanks, as you know, back six years ago, and um, we're hoping to do two more. We're running pretty much 100% capacity that's, right now. That's great. Yeah. And, po and post kind of COVID, that's not probably too many people can say well, that. But I, I kind of think COVID helped. I mean, I think that it's been a place for people to go and just cope and deal and escape. Mm -hmm. You know, everything that's happening. You know, last year, granted, where you were, like with COVID, politics, climate change, the fires, I mean, there was so much stuff affecting people. This was just that quiet place to be and just be okay, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well said. That was, that's good that there was a silver lining to this. So, <laughs> so about, uh, I, guess, I guess it was a couple months before COVID, maybe in December or January, mm -hmm. I reached out and um, going back to, back, going back a little bit in 2017, when I went to the float conference in, um, Portland and heard Dr. Feinstein talk about uh, when we had a, our, my company, Heat and Green, had a booth there. Um, um, I took time to listen to him and really talk about the uh, more from a clinical side of the results of um, floating, even compared to other things like yoga or other forms of exercising, people with PTSD, etc., and being able to look at um, that and more of a there's here are facts. It's not some you know newfangled thing that right. you know people are just throwing ideas over the fence. Not just a bunch of snake oil. Not sold, just a bunch right? of snake yeah. oil. Yes, exactly. And so, and even though we've done some a bunch of projects heating wise, it was really great insight. So, so my son has uh, a, a really good mind, and hopefully the nut didn't fall too far from the tree. <laughs> and so, when we started talking about floating, um, kind of the why behind it was. Jack has um, kind of some sensory stuff going on, along with some ADHD and uh, probably some some mild autism, right, Jack? Yeah. So remember when you and Daddy were talking about floating? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What were your thoughts on on that? Well, uh, I think when I did floating, I was like, "What was this gonna be?" And when my dad went to the float conference, I was like, "What's floating?" And I didn't really understand what it was but then when I went to the float and I did it well I don't have very good sleep usually it's in the winter and it helps me sleep and then I sleep really good and then it helps me get anxiety away mm -hmm. too mm -hmm. yeah so Jack was as he said very curious like looking at all the pumps and everything. he's very mechanically inclined and, and uh, um, like mo most kids are, you know, curious about things. So, um, just as an encouragement to other other parents out there, if they do do this with their kids, um, do one no, have no expectations whatsoever, but look at it as the greatest piece of advice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and and, uh, and um, look at it as an opportunity. And in, in our instant gratification world, it's very easy to want some results, right, or, or take a, a pill. And, and we know that there, there's 
things can work, but um, sometimes when you try things out, I think a, as a dad, one of the biggest things is um, just honestly involvement. You know, whether it was, you know, he has a, just a normal, you know, normal kid and does sports or whatever the activity might be that you're involved. And um, so I looked at it as a real blessing to literally be shoulder to shoulder in the tank with Jack and um, to be um, to there and not just, you know, have my wife do the things like this, for example. Mm -hmm. And so it's, um, you know, as a, as a dad, I'll just say, um, uh, you know, we've probably all read statistics about, you know, dads not being involved as much and the fatherless generation or things like that. And um, not to be presumptuous with anyone watching, but it's so important to, um, to you know, take every moment and to, mm -hmm. And to love them well, you know, and maybe you don't understand floating or like, oh, this is really just for adults or, or something flippant, but more like, hey, I can't pound the sand through the hourglass and, and see the results, but I know um, it takes a community, and I appreciate your graciousness of saying like, let's let's let's, let's, let's try and see if it works, and so so I think we'll probably be starting up again here, and. Um, yeah, and I'll just say the nights that Jack did it, I, I, uh, um, I journaled things, and it was never a leaning statement like, you're going to sleep great tonight, Jack. It was more just, let's just see the results and enjoy. Jack always says, enjoy, enjoy the trip, not the destination. So well And I can get very anxious as a business owner and a doer and a performer, whether we're going boating or something, but more like, hey, if we get a flat tire on the way or if something happens, so it was great to just enjoy the time before, not rushing to get here, but getting here on time, and then going home, and even though he's gonna to go to bed a little bit later those nights, that, to see the results, and so we can't fast forward time, but, but I really appreciate both of you being gracious and, oh, and, and willing, and the hope here is the, you know, if this um, puts a sprinkle of hope or an opportunity for other people to say, man, I could do that with my, my son or daughter, and uh, just be willing to be available and flexible. And um, but I, I really, I like logic. So when I heard Dr. Feinstein speak, and it was like this, this makes sense. And um, and then here was a window of opportunity with still life massage. Club. <laughs> nice. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, cool. And I'm so excited. I mean, the bonding part is what's melting me so much. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. having six weeks to come, <laughs> and just I mean that is great for a father and son. And hold on to that because we have teenagers now and it, it, it drifts. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's not a cliche. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And just so excited that it was helpful, you know, and getting back to what you learned at the conference, like putting the proof behind the pudding. You know, you, you hear it, you read it, oh, that's interesting. Right. Then you try it and, you know, just slow steps. You know, it's always a process, right? It's like, you know, you, you can't get well overnight, but, you know, six months down the road of doing something, then you look back and go, oh, I am in a better place yeah. now because of this. And I'm so glad that. I mean, we think floating is a great tool to have in your toolbox. Like we said, it's not the cure-all. You're not going to get immediate results all the time, although we have lots of folks that come out and go, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I have folks that are mind-blowing sometimes. Yeah. You do have those moments, <laughs> and but I, I've been doing it a while. Yeah, and I think that being said, while the focus was kind of on Jack, it's more the, well, what am I now, as a look in the rear view, what am I getting out of That's this? That's exactly And right. like yeah. you said, the, the, the bonding part. So. Jack, what would you want to say to um, other kids out there or parents about about floating and, and you know, kind of words of encouragement? What would what would you like to say? Well, I think that floating, if you have a hard time sleeping, that you can do it and you might sleep really well. And that if you have any anxieties, whether it's something in school or something at home or something with your friends, that it might blow those anxieties away. And so you're really calm after you get out of the float tank. And I think it really helps. What would you like to say to, to Tim and Shannon? Thanks for letting us do the float, and I think it really helps. You Good. are welcome. It Good. Was, you we, are welcome. We are, it's exactly why we're here, so I'm glad that we were able to, to help. And I can't wait to see you back in. <laughs> okay. Think it's going to fit us now where you've grown a little bit. <laughs> oh, that's true. Maybe six inches or more, huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much. Our pleasure. Thank you. We appreciate it. So. Thank you for watching our video. 
And in conclusion, I want to give you the top three reasons why you should consider doing float therapy or even a float session with your child. Number one, you're creating bonds and memories with your child. You're showing support for them. And number three, the most important is love wins. And you're gonna, uh, that's gonna go a long way in life. And we just know from our own experience that it's been really mutually beneficial. And we really wanna encourage you to consider doing the same. I'd like to give a special thanks to Justin, Dr. Justin Feinstein. I heard him speak at the Float Conference in 2017 and it was very interesting, his findings. And I appreciate you dedicating your professional career towards this to really help people. I also like to thank uh, thank Just, Jocelyn Jester uh, with the Float Conference and all the emails and the phone calls back and forth, and James Harder from Float uh, Float Harder in Portland, Maine. Thanks for your encouragement and your support of the float industry. And a special thanks to Tim and Shannon Fuller with Still Life Massage in Float here in Bellingham. We couldn't have done it without you. And remember, float, float on. on. <laughs>